everyone, this is Gilmer, and I'm back, and this is episode 5B. 5A was cut short because of a glitch in the sound, and I'm hoping it resolved itself when I saved and closed the game. So this is 5B, the first episode, 5A, was about 20 minutes long, so I'll go about 20, 25 minutes, or 30 minutes, or however long I feel like it. But we had just captured Pilsen, actually. So let's take a look. Supply, supply. I do so love supply. There we go. Tilly has just captured Pilsen. We have liberated Pilsen. And it is, it does not have a supply depot, so we will build one. Because, as we all know, depots are needed, and well, in all the all the times I've played this, it, it they've needed it. You know, the the few turns I've played have definitely needed a depot in cities where I have fairly large formations. So I'll build one here. What the no, actually no, 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 no. No, I will not. What I will do though is I will put somebody in there as a garrison and then I will move back to Prague. Because it is October. Next month is November, so it will probably be snow. And this only has eight supply right now. And even with a depot, I don't know that it's going to be enough to supply Tilly's army. So I'm going to move back. It's cool how every single formation has a name. The Bauer Regiment. The Haslong Souls Regiment, the Herleiber Regiment, the Florinville Regiment, the Krotz, the Einotten, Marco Say, Hebersdorf, Bonninghausen, Poppenheim, Wartenberg, Herzelis, and then others. And then League of League of Vorate, whatever that is. What is that? Oh, it's one of their one of the supplies. Alright. So anyway, I want to move him back to Prague because I don't think that he'll have enough supply here. Even even when he does build a supply depot, it'll be just level one. See, I think this is a you know this has a size two depot, and I think it's doing just okay with a size army that's half the size of his. So. Anyway, let's see how many troops he actually has. Let's see. 13,665 men. 4,158 horses or cavalry. Six cannons. That's not shabby. I really like the uh, horses. I wish I, I wish I had enough time to get him down over here and start doing some damage over here because that's what's coming next. Which way will we go when we go? This is a track. I don't know if I can just move straight from there to there without some kind of penalty for bypassing the road and going across land to, to join the road again over here. I don't know. Wait a minute, let's see. All right, let's see our messages. Bohemian Rebellion crushed. So I was right. All the big Bohemian cities are under imperialist control. The Bohemian Rebellion is ended. Some of the heads of the rebellion are hanged in Prague. The Bohemian units in Bohemia, Moravia, High Palatinate, and Bavaria are removed from the game. The Protestants lose 10 national morale. 
So, yes, sir. I do believe that was a major victory. Uh, five, we are besieging Mannheim, but have achieved nothing. We made a breach of Pilsen for a total of two breaches. We inflicted 15 hits to the enemy during the siege of Pilsen. Thanks to our victory, we captured 100 armament from the enemy. We won a battle in Region Pilsen at day two. Zero national morale points gained. Too bad. Light Cavalry has arrived at Konigretz. And actually, that's where a fortress is built in Rise of Prussia. The, in Konigretz, Dragoon's Regiment has arrived in Newhouse, which is... New house. So as you can see, I am really... I am really... Well... I don't know if it just... will show... Oh, the owner of all regions. So I'm not I'm not doing too bad. I am not doing too badly. And uh once I grab a lot of this I can probably move fairly quickly to Breslau and take it. That's what we should be doing. We should be taking control of the regions that have roads or tracks in them to make it easier to move around I think which means let's take that let's put him on defensive because I don't think this guy's going to do anything Mannheim is still besieged and nothing is going on at this time. Let's see. Upkeep of units in the field costs us too money. The training of Springen is nearly finished in Augsburg. Yes. So we will move him straight this way. Move him cross country. Hmm. Thirty-nine days. That's two turns, maybe more if if he goes inactive next turn. But that's the funny thing about these units that do not have an owner. They I think they're almost always active, but they still get a penalty because they have no leader. The con you can gain, you gain control of Pilsen. You gain control of Pilsen, as I mentioned before. One's the fort and one's the city. We captured three supply units, which we all know happened because we saw it. Recruitment. Uh, decisions. Let's see if we can't. Are there any city-states? That we can play this on, convert to Catholicism. It doesn't look like it. So we've done all we could there. Did I look at this? Oh, yeah. Okay. F1, F2, 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 F1. I got a lot of troops, a lot of units floating around out there. A, lot, a hell of a lot more than I did when I first started. F2, we're low on money, so I'm not going to do any replacements. Not going to buy that, not going to do that. No historical options. Gregory is still offering his aid, but not giving it. F8. F9, yeah, victory points 39 a turn, victory points 10 a turn, so we're doing pretty good there as well, 
All right, let's save this and play out the turn. See how it looks. When uh, when the winter's over, I'll come back and build some depots here. See, the snow's coming in. What the hell? What happened to Cordoba? Oh. Oh. Where was Caesar Manheim, but achieved nothing? Some Spanish troops are sent to Flanders. Creation Dragoons, blah, 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 blah. And it doesn't say what happened to him. He just disappeared. No. Where did he go? <laughs> oh, well. Let's move back. He's not going to do anything this year. And we'll get Tilly over there. We'll get Tilly to move. Well, wait a minute. Tilly's up here. We'll get Tilly to move maybe through here, through Nuremberg. Maybe this will be open up and I'll be able to take some of these cities at that point and then move on over here and start working on Heidelberg, Mannheim. Phillipsburg, no, Phillipsburg's mine. Baden. And um, this is this is controlled by Spain. Nice, nicely done, Spain. I know you already owned it when the I think the fighting started, but I'll give you nice, nice going anyway. So one day. Power of 86, never mind. Power of 34. He's not going to come out of there. So we'll move here. We'll try to clear up some of these roads down through here. So if I want to, I'll bring some troops up this way jump from this road over to that road and go on up to Breslau. I'm not, I don't have any gold. When do I get my gold? I need my gold. All right. Let's execute a turn. Getting hungry. Got my money, but not from Greg. Come on, Greg. Do me a solid. Some Spanish troops are sent to Flanders. Tax income from Frankfurt. Tax income from Vienna. Like cavalry, Cordoba army, Springen, Springen, Springen. not very they're not very strong without a leader I don't know what happened to Cordoba but he was a pretty good general we'll move him here he's in, out in the middle of nowhere so we will move him down here five level of supply should be able should be enough to keep him in supply I haven't really done anything with him yet or lately, but he is a three-star general. So is he. He's done all right. He's just a four-three-four four, though. Once he was, he had the stats that he has in that random gamers game seven four seven five four. Freaking unbelievable seven. He's never inactive seven. If you're seven, for strategic, you'll never be inactive, I don't think. I think you probably have a 3 or 4% chance of being inactive. 
if you have a strategic level of seven. So, yeah, pretty nice. Pretty damn nice. Nothing's really going on. I'm still at 108. He's at 83. Something should be happening pretty soon, I would think. So I own Salzburg. I own Munchen. I own Regensburg or Regensburg. I own Augsburg. So if I really want to. This might be the easier trip to go through Linz, go through Salzburg. That's a longer run, but to uh, Munchen, which has uh, got a pretty good amount of supply, up to Regensburg, Augsburg, and from there to Ulm, Stuttgart. Had a friend that lived in Stuttgart for a little while. And then from Stuttgart, I can. I can build some depot, a depot, several depots here, or several levels of depot, and attack to attack into Baden and move south or move up from the south. Sounds like a good idea. Let's see what the year 1622 brings us. Happy New Year. Happy New Year! Yeah. He's unsupplied. He's doing okay. He'll be alright here. I uh, like calorie upkeep of units. So, wait a minute. I only have four total messages. So, not much going on. I don't even I didn't even get a message saying 1622 units available. That seems a little strange. Pope Gregory is still offering aid with his rubber strings attached to it so he can snatch it back right before you pick it up. I'm not I'm getting to not like Gregory for doing that. What is he teasing us? Okay. It's January. Nothing, nothing much going on. CRO Raiders Croatian. I wonder why I can't buy it. Oh well. We'll buy a couple there. And. Do we have any more? See, I don't like that. I don't know if this guy has really done anything or if it's worth even playing that anymore. Trench to their maximum level any unit in the targeted region provided they are not sieged. So I guess this goes away once you move your unit out of that region so it's worthless unless you're expecting to be attacked within that turn or while he's still in the region. So what's his command range? 1725. So he provides a command of 25. All right. Well, this turn went by really fast. There wasn't anything to do. I'm not moving out during January when there could be still snow on the ground in February. Yeah. All right. We may ask for we may ask Spain for help again. He actually gives his aid. 
received your yearly decisions. Oh, I forgot to click Gregory. Maybe one day he'll actually give us one of the So Spanish are all supplied up. All right. Yearly decisions. Enter decision mode. Yeah. I don't I don't see any real dis new decisions. I could build supply. You can never have enough of supply to be honest. I think I'll build one there. I don't, five's enough to get me through to the next time I make some money. Okay. February. I think it's time. 33 days. What's it? Mud, mud, mud. Let's wait until it's not muddy. Yeah, you might not be, be able to see it, but it's a top line. It says, Baroon, Holy Roman Empire, clear but mud. So the weather's good, but the weather the previous month was bad, and it, you got mud on the ground. Same with this. Woods, mud. Woods, mud. So it takes a lot longer to move through a region that is covered in mud, obviously, because, one, you know, your men get exhausted, marching through mud two horses get exhausted marching through mud three artillery is hard to push through mud so I mean that's all common sense so I don't really even know why I told you that because I'm sure you were thinking the same thing alright oh I'm going to get yeah I'm going to get Spain aid it's like live aid except from Spain back in the 1600's I'm just kidding I shouldn't joke about that. I'm sorry. I wasn't joking about Live Aid. Alright. The Spanish king has sent some help to the emperor. And see, the pope has still yet to send aid or help to the emperor. He must not want us to win. Received income from Bavaria. That's nice. And some Spanish troops are sent to Flanders. So we've got some pretty good amount of money. See, it's still snowy up here, though. Damn it. But, you know what I'm going to do? Since this area... Why is his troops so... Yeah. Oh. He's a 3-1-2. He's not the best, but... Oh, holy shit. What are you doing? Twenty one days. It's good enough. At least he could uh he can give him a little bit of uh leadership. What's this say? Remove group command from this leader. Hell no. I think that costs money. I could probably he's a three two two. Tell you what. Oh, I got some plot, some pl some. Damn, spit it out. I have some supply. Sixty nine days because he's inactive. This guy's active. 
39 days. He takes a he takes a route through there. I don't know if I like that. But it takes 25 days just to get there. All right, we'll leave him there. But what is these? Arcabusier, Arcabusiers, cavalry, state of origin, Austria. Curiosiers. All right. Force March. Force March is something where you can make the guys, they'll go a lot faster, but they lose, they'll, they'll be more exhausted and lose a lot more cohesion and inner structure at the end of your turn or when wherever they get to their destination. So if I were to move him to this region with this button clicked, he would, he would enter this city unless it's besieged or something. He can't get through, but. I don't see Regensburg coming under siege anytime soon. And so, let's do one more turn and then let's. I know that I really not much has gone on in this second half of episode five, but I think this is kind of a lull period in the game as the, uh, the major powers start gearing up to uh you know start gearing up to uh carry on the struggle so i have three messages units in the field have used th two money colonel what's his face has arrived in frankfurt colonel has joined cordoba army and see it was at a 280 or 240 or something and now he gives them some command He's still over his command limit, so he has a 20% penalty. But he uh, raised the power up to 337, so that's pretty good. Not bad. He's a little bit above his pay grade, uh, as they say. But, all in all, that's okay. And it's time to start moving some of these guys. 33 days. Mud, mud mud well he's gotta move sometime he's active 36 days mud not mud not mud crosses a river i think that costs you some time so that's probably why it takes him 36 days are any of these guys fast movers if you remember my let's play from uh, rise of prussia Frederick the Great was a fast mover, and that son of a gun could move pretty quickly, except when my troops were fatigued, I think was part of the problem. Sometimes he could move really fast, and other times he'd take him a damn, take him till damn Christmas to get to places. Alright, anyway, that's the end of this uh, episode. My name is Gilmer, and I appreciate you very much. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you can put up with me for a little while longer and also get some enjoyment out of these Let's Plays because I'm getting some enjoyment out of it. If if it strikes you, you should get the game because I think it's a good game. I think um, if you have Windows 7, I think they do have some trouble with Crash to Desktop. But I think in Windows 8 and Windows 10, which is what I'm running, it's doing really well. I have not really had any trouble uh, I had the one sound glitch and that's the only trouble I've had the whole game except I think this this issue this is something that is a, a bug something's not firing because he is not giving me aid and he is available every turn and that that doesn't make sense if he was given aid he wouldn't show up every turn it's because it's not firing. It's because he's not giving me aid is why he keeps showing up. The, the game thinks I haven't selected it when I have is, is what's going on. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. I will see you soon.